Well, boys, it's another day out here at Elevated AF. We're at the shop pretty early this morning because, well, we got a lot of projects going on and we don't got a lot of time, so we better get to work. So, uh, yeah, I bought another Ford. Now, wait, wait, wait. I know what you're going to say, Austin, another Ford. What, what are you going to do with it this time? Put it any level on it? No. The plan for this one is a little bit different you see this f-350 it looks pretty nice right and it is but the motor's blown up now it just so happens that i need an extra cab part for a very special build so uh i bought this and we have another truck on the way to uh attach that said cab to that's right we're making a six-door ford on top of that we got a bunch of other projects so that should be keeping us busy for quite a while by the way if you guys enjoyed today's video help me out by giving that like button a little tap it helps out the video a ton and I appreciate it so much. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribing helps make videos just like this. So if you want to see more, that button's down there too. So unfortunately for me, my uh, forklift is in the shop. So we can't really use much else to put this thing on the lift since it has no way of driving itself. So figured snow plow is the next best way. It actually worked quite well. Better than I thought it would. I haven't got to use this for any snow, but you know, the time will come. So this truck's going to get all tearing apart. We might use some of the parts in other places, but really we just need this back cap. Anyways, while well, the guys get to work on that, I'm going to jump in the tow rig here and we're going to go buy something else. So the truck we're going to go look at is uh, a Ford, unsurprisingly, but uh, it, it's not a Ford that we'd typically buy. This one's uh, a little different. Well, this is the place here and there is the truck. That's right. A little old F-150. Now, we have bought trucks from here before. Guy runs a big farm, and uh, he said his wife recently upgraded trucks. This was literally just her grocery getter, and that's all it was ever used for, really. So it was like, hey, you want to buy it? I was like, I don't know. It's a 5.4 Triton. Literally one of the worst F-150s ever made. He's like, I'll give you a good deal on it. I'll give you a good deal on it. So I was like, okay, I guess I just got to look at it first. So we're here to check it out. I think it's going to be all right. He said the keys are in it. He's not uh, here right now. So I'm just going to take it for a quick little drive. It's got brand new tires, but you guys know if I buy this thing, it's not going to stay stock. Now, usually I would never buy a truck like this, but one thing that kind of convinced me is we had a customer come in with an F-150 pretty close to this around the same year. They bought a lift, but uh, he backed out. So now we just got this lift setting here with these tires, and I figured, you know what? May as well buy something that we could slap it on. And I think this is that truck unfortunately enough anyways i'm gonna buy it we're gonna take it back to the shop i'll send the guy a check and uh yeah this ought to be fun we're not overkilling the slightest roll in this thing it is a real heavy load so i need to really bring the big guns out for this one and i think about it i should have just rented a semi and just took that instead hopefully the dodge can handle it all the way back to the shop well we just made it back here and crap there is a project i forgot about so my buddy jack hit me up the other day Mind you, I haven't seen the man in like a year and a half, two years. He's like, hey, I got this truck, you know, I'm in town here. You want to do it up for me? I was like, okay, sure, man. Well, what truck is it? It's like, it's a 2017 GMC. And I was like, oh, okay. He's already got a lift on it. And just stocks with some meteor tires. He's like, yeah, I want this thing all done up and uh, free of charge. I'm like, well, you're joking about the free of charge part because that ain't going to happen. So he was like, oh, okay, well, what's it going to cost me? I'm like, I'll tell you what, I'll give you the labor free. You pay for the parts. So we agreed to that, and now we gotta try get that truck done within a couple days here. And we have some of the parts ordered, but still waiting on some uh, wheels here. So who knows? We might just have to give them whatever is in the bin there. They'll have like a set of JTXs on the front and a set of fuels on the back or something. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. Anyways, hopefully we get the wheels on time for him. Because if not, he's gonna have a real weird looking truck. Well, at least he's got it straight pipes. That's a start. But yeah, and then he also says he wants to custom grill with his company name on the front. I'm like, oh man, you're pushing it at this point, but whatever. We'll try to get it done and i hate ifs trucks well the shop's full so the guys should be pretty busy over the next little while i think we're getting our second truck for that uh, six door build so hopefully that should be underway real soon but in the meantime i've got another duramax to deliver we ended up doing some trades for this truck so uh we got to get her delivered to the customer usually we don't do deliveries but this is an exception i just drove two hours to deliver this thing to a bowling alley well went in rome by the way, if you guys are looking for a gaming PC, look no further than Apex Gaming PCs. Christmas is right around the corner, so if you want to get yourself or your family member a great gaming PC, Apex is the way to go. And with the farm line of PCs, they're designed great to play farm sim or any other game you might want to play. And check them out using the link in the description, and be sure to use code FARMER for a great discount. Anyway, back to the video. Well boys, it's been a couple days here, and we got both builds done. The six-door Ford is still underway, we got our other truck for it, so that's going together hopefully pretty quick it's not easy to uh fuse two trucks together but uh if there's anyone that can make it happen 
My guys. Anyway, my buddy Jack's truck is done. We got the uh, custom artist grill, new bumpers, put a uh, light bar in there at his request. Paint matched pretty much everything. Put a new rear bumper on there for him. Track bars and some brand new JTX forged wheels. I will say it does look a lot better than the stocks did. Now, I also added a little something in for him. To make him think we messed with his truck just a little too much. You go like this. Now he's got a squatted truck. Yeah, we put bags in the back. You know what? It might look better squatted, actually. I don't think those words should have came out of my mouth. Oh, yeah. He's going to love this. He's going to think we squatted his truck. Yeah, this is perfect. All right. On to the next thing, the F-150 that I bought on a whim. We so happened to have some parts for it, and uh, it came out looking like this. You know what? It actually doesn't look half bad, I will say. It's it's still a 5.4 Triton, but it don't look half bad. Put a McGoy's lift on it. Uh, KG-1 forged wheels out of all the wheels we possibly could have put on this. I, I don't know why we put super expensive ones, but yeah, they work for the F-150, so that's what's on there. It's kind of squat it like not really but there's like a baby lean to it we tried cranking the keys down in the front but uh yeah there's, there's not a whole lot we can do we might have to get bigger blocks for it but i'm pretty sure it'll sell like this if it sells i can't be 100 percent sure on that one at least it's looking better than it did before a little bit not a whole lot well boys it's been about a week here and the six door ford is done now uh after the conversion there we could not fit it on the normal lift so we had to put it on the big lift and this thing's pretty gum big now now while i'm definitely not the first one to do this i still gotta argue that mine looks pretty dang cool so with the extra door added here we got a whole nother row of seats so that brings the total seat count to nine now uh, a limo is classified as eight or more seats so i think this makes it a ford limo a ford f-350 dually limo which is pretty dang cool we also put a bumper on it some american forces and look how far that exhaust pipe has to go back that is ridiculous Maybe I should put a bed stack in it. Who knows? By the way, massive shout out to Cooper for this mod. Anyways, I'm not really too sure what to do with this other than leave it how it is and maybe tow some stuff with it. If you guys have any suggestions, leave that down in the comments. I am, however, not putting in any level on it though because, well, <laughs> it doesn't need one. But maybe a bigger lift. I'll think about it. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. So a while back, we sold the uh, lifted third gen there. I found another one. Now, uh, we're not going to be doing it this week. Next week may be a different story. Also, while I absolutely hate to do it, I think we got to get rid of some more builds. Possibly the K50, the Any Level, this F350, and maybe one or two more. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we have more builds planned. So, uh, we're going to be looking at some changes around here. Man, I hope this thing sells. I'm not entirely sure if it will. It might. With that squat, that might be a little difficult. We may need to fix that. And hopefully soon, Elevated AF will be selling official merch. I've heard a lot of you guys requesting it, so we're working on it. Hopefully just in time for Christmas. Anyways, I think I'm going to go try to take this thing through the McDonald's drive-thru. I, I don't think that's going to go well, but you know what? I got to do it for science. I don't know what kind of science, but I'm kind. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe. Goodbye.